Welcome, I'm Harold Piringer, CEO of Visplor. I'm pleased to present you our solution for industrial visual analytics and to illustrate it with a concrete use case. Data is growing in many departments of industrial companies. But while data collection and management is often already well solved, many companies are still struggling to figure out how they can make the best use of that data. Two trends in this context are artificial intelligence and business intelligence. But can you just use an AI algorithm on raw machine data? The experience shows this usually doesn't work. In most cases, it's a long way to AI or a tidy business intelligence dashboard. In data science, process models such as CRISP-DM have become established for this purpose. A core statement is, before predictive analytics comes into play, an understanding of the business problem, a good understanding of the data, and a suitable preparation are required. And this is exactly where the often, often cited 80% of the effort is. Now you may ask, why is it actually so important to understand the data? One answer is, it makes no sense to use AI on inappropriate data. Garbage in, garbage out. Here's a specific example from a utility company. It was about condition-based monitoring of a power plant sensor. This is what the raw data of the sensor looks like over four years. Many things would only distort the model. For example, the straight line is a longer revision of the power plant. The spikes are turbine startups and shutdowns. And even from the rest of normal operation, only the time after the revision is usable, because the process behavior has changed as a result of the revision. This means that before using data for analytics, you have to be able to interpret it and select it appropriately. That's exactly what Visplor does. Visplor is a graphical software to quickly check the plausibility of extensive data to find patterns and correlations and to enrich the data. For example, to label complex data interactively. And Visplor saves you a lot of time for all that. Because the data visualizations in Visplor are not static images, but interactive interfaces for selecting data, for example. This allows you to discover patterns and correlations that you would otherwise not have looked for and to generate new ideas based on the data together with others. Last but not least, Visplor can be used tightly integrated with Python, MATLAB and R. This means that you can load data from practically any data source into Visplor and also playback results such as data labels. So, what distinguishes Visplor from other tools such as business intelligence software? In short, the focus and the target audience. Our focus is on, the, is on interactive data exploration and the target audience is primarily engineers and researchers rather than business analysts. Specifically, Visplor is structured quite differently. For example, you can jump right into pre-built cockpits for questions like correlation, analysis, root cause analysis, and much more after loading the data. This makes Visplor a solution that directly covers industry questions. And Visplor specializes in working with non-aggregated data. This means that it's possible to work on millions of values practically without delay. Cleaning outliers or labeling patterns can be done interactively in the visualization. To make this a bit more concrete, I would like to briefly show Visplor live. The demo is about finding possible root causes of an anomaly in a production process. I will jump over to Python. Here, I've loaded a set of process data as a data matrix, a data frame. From Python, the user can now send data directly to Visplor via an API. You can see here the send data command. It does just that. So now Python sends the data directly to an open Whisper instance. I can switch here to this Whisper instance and just start one of these cockpits. Let's say the first one for trend analysis. 
and after a very few seconds I'm in, in a completely pre-configured cockpit where I can see an overview of my variables with statistics. I can uh, select one and look at time series. I can have a look at the corresponding histograms. And I can use, for example, data selection to identify periods where a certain threshold might have exceeded. All other views update immediately and there are way, way more visualizations, far more than I can show now. For example, here a calendar visualization and lots of others. But let's get to the use case. The use case in, uh, is about anomaly detection. We have here a chemical target indicator that shows anomalies from time to time. Here, for example, we see here as anomaly, here's an anomaly again, and here's a third one. So the process engineers now could wonder what other sensors could have led to this anomaly. What could be the root cause? And for analyzing this, we can now pick just a certain part of the data, a certain time period, select this anomaly, and compare this anomaly to the time before. Okay. And here we now see the statistics compared for those two time periods, for the selected one and for the rest. Let's switch here to relatives to make this a bit easier to read. And in a very short time we get a list of very many sensors ordered, for example in this case, by the amount in which the mean value is different for the selected data than for the rest of the data. So we can now say these are sensors that could be worthwhile to look at the process engineer and actually here we see that before, sometime before the beginning of this anomaly, most of those sensors show a certain rise. And now it's up for the domain knowledge of the process engineer to specify if is this could be a causal relationship or not. To finish the use case, we could go back to Python and could let Python print out the selected uh, variables. So basically here the connection stays established and can get back information like this. So this, ex this example showed how process experts can quickly discover possible causes of problems. This would enable them better countermeasures to be taken earlier. Finally, a few words about ourselves. We are a spin-off company of ViaVis, Austria's leading research center in visual computing. We have developed software in over 10 years of research together with Austrian corporates and have now commercialized the result. We had a funding round in February from a major European VC. And we have about 20 customers split between industry, energy and R&D. So if you're interested, I would be pleased if you take a look at our webpage. There are use case videos and there's also a free version that you can easily download and use on your own data. And if you know people in your network who often need to analyze sensor time series, energy time series or the like, please tell them about Whisplore. This may be other research departments of your university, for example. Of course, I also invite you to contact me if you have any questions. Thank you very much for your attention.